Okay, good afternoon. Apat pa lang. Share screen. the other Can you see the whiteboard? Yeah, I'll just assume. And so first, let's go back to this equation. Ito. Yeah. Principles of virtual work. So it's ano no it's in a simple explanation this is the internal strain energy is equal to dun sa external ano uh, energy due to external work no ito yung force sa surface ito naman yung force sa body or work so because force times displacement is work no so yan yung uh, external work from the surface load and from the body load. Okay, we will derive you. Uh, that's why I'm using different references, eh, no? because if we concentrate lang tayo sa isang reference, may portion na this one hindi siya na elaborate. You know? That's why I I need to to refer to other material you know, to uh, to check on the derivation of some important formula. For example, yung where is the di ba naalala nyo, we derived the stiffness matrix, no? yung, yung uh, triple integral B transpose DB from here. So if I rewrite this, is it recorded now? Okay, if I rewrite this, 10. Check it out. Is it writing? Okay. Okay, uh, So how do we, we express that strain? Oops, not writing. Okay, strain is equal to B T, right? So we established that already, and B is equal to first derivative of the shape function okay and uh, let's try to write that u displacement so we were able to establish this we multiply the shape function to the displacement we are relating no the actual displacement by multiplying to our assumed displacement function or n or shape function okay uh, 
Now, uh, we know that this, these are all in matrix. So applying your matrix, uh, matrix operation, if we transpose the strain, therefore BD will be transposed. Therefore, this one will be equal to this one. Okay. So magbabalik tayo, magsi-switch position sila. We've done that sa derivation ng beam uh, stiffness also. Next is, so if we apply the same concept here sa displacement and D transpose that becomes D transpose and transpose, right? This is the displacement multiplied to the shape function. So we will now substitute that to sa ating ano, equation. Okay. Let's let's substitute that. Substitute all this here. Okay. So that becomes okay, uh, integral. Okay. You rewrite ko muna. Transpose stress is equal to, this is the surface. Kaya ako ginawang u equals nd, no? just to, ano, to differentiate the displacement. Magdodoble kasi yung d, ano, d. Then force acting on the surface plus force acting to the body and your weight. Okay. So plug in yung transpose strain. So that will become B transpose, D transpose, right? Stress is equal to ayan. okay. Uh, yeah. So this is displacement. Ito yan. So I should have ano pala to. Rewrite this as U. I'll write this as u. u. This one also as u. Para bumalik yung d. Yeah, okay. So that becomes u transpose is d transpose and transpose and then the force acting on the surface plus ulitin natin to okay uh, d transpose and transpose okay Okay, that's it. And then, uh, using ano, principle of minimum potential energy, di ba, inano natin yan, kinuha natin yung derivatives. Minimum potential energy. Wherein, we set this as 
d pi over d d. Okay. So equals Well, so, mawawala lahat ng D. So, that becomes B transpose stress Pwede kong itra ano eh, i- it transfer to dito. Then equate sa zero. No? Kasi nga isi ni zero natin to eh. No? Okay. Or well, let's just say minus and transpose F. And then minus and transpose F. That one. Okay? To minimize the potential energy. So that becomes... So this uh, goal is this becomes zero. So in short, lahat ng mga forces, surface force and body force will need to be multiplied sa shape function. Yun lang pipinakan dito. This is the shape function. Okay. So ito, na-establish na natin to as uh, this becomes B transpose DB. Okay. So we need to multiply the forces a shape function. Okay. So for example, we have a trapezoidal load. Odo na sa manual na to. This is pinakita ko lang yung basis, no? Bakit biglang lumitaw 'yan? Nakita niyo doon sa reference natin. For example, we have load like this. Say this is W1, W2. This is L. And we wanted to find the forces, fixed end forces. And so for the civil, ano, for the MSC majors, alam nyo na yan, di ba? For example, uh, uniformly loaded, So what are the values of our fixed end force? Say Q. Q is equal to
uh, for the concentrated reaction, say this is W, this is L, this becomes WL over 2 for the vertical reaction. For the fixed end moment, that is WL squared over 12. WL over 2, negative WL squared over 12. So basically, this is the vertical reaction. This one is the fixed end moment. Uh, we call that FEM, fixed end moment. So we will, we will derive that. You know? Following this, you know, this whole formula. You know? So para consistent. You know? Kasi you can just derive this using ano, diba? basic structural analysis, area moment, you know, slope deflection. Pero we will derive this using this you know, uh, consistent with the shape function, with the displacement function. So, an, uh, so as a review, what are the displacement function or shape function for our beam? So last time we derived that uh, N1 is equal to 1 minus 3x squared over L squared plus 2x cubed over L cubed. N2 is equal to x minus 2x squared over L plus x cubed over L squared. N3 is equal to 3x squared over L squared minus 2x cubed over L cube. Lastly, N4 is equal to negative X squared over L plus X cube over L squared. So those are the shape function for beam. So following this, get the transpose and multiply. So let's find the general equation for our W. So here W is equal to W1 plus W2 minus W1 over L times X because it's varying. No? Here, X. So that is basically our F. So that this one is already our F here. It's a force okay, acting on the surface. So multiply to the N transpose. So we will get and by integration no? we will have So F1 is equal to integral of basically that's N1 N2 N3 N4 
Oh, no, no, no. You have a, this is one by one. So we need a four by one. That's a transpose. Okay, correct. So N1, N2, N3, N4. Okay, by W1 plus W2. Dx. That's our Q. But since it's a column vector. Basically, okay, uh, we have 1 minus 3x squared over L squared plus 2x cubed over L cubed times W1 plus W2 over L x dx. So integrate that. Another one is, so we call this Q sub 1 or Q sub 2. Then for N2, X minus 2X squared over L plus X cubed over L squared. So same. For Q sub 3, 3x squared over L squared minus 2x cubed over L cubed. So same. And last, negative x squared over L plus x cubed over L squared. Okay, so that's the general formula. Now, what if W1 is equal to W2? Okay, so special case like if W1 is equal to W2, therefore, you basically have this. Right? Because W1 is equal to W2. So we should come up with this, okay? So that will be equal to, gawin ko na lang red, no? So if W1 is equal to W2, so this will be zero, no? So this will be zero, okay?
Pero no pa-mute ko yun ito. Okay, sorry. Integrate lang natin, no? Uh, Okay. Correct me na lang no? Pag may na-miss ako X, W, 1 Next X cube Over 3 X cube Tama Plus x to the fourth, one half. That will be WL. Check ko lang ah. Hirap magsulat dito sa ano. Wacom. Yeah, okay. So integrating from 0 to L, of course, uh, all x will be L. So W1 times L minus W1 uh, replace this x cubed by L cubed. So that will be L. Okay, minus W1 L plus W1 L to the fourth over L cubed is simply L. So, W1L over 2. Then, maka-cancel out ito. Okay, so, what remains is this. Okay? Which is equal to this one. Okay? The vertical reaction. How about the fixed end moment? Same procedure lang, no? So, we will have... Integral of W1 x squared over 2. W1 x squared over 2. 
minus w1 x cube over 3 2 x cube over 3 l plus x to the fourth w1 over 4 l squared right Then integrating from 0 to L, this becomes L squared, this becomes L cubed, L to the fourth. So it's equal to, okay na pala yan. 0 to L naman tayo. So that will be W1 L squared over 2 minus L squared, 2 thirds, W1 L squared. Okay. plus L to the fourth over L squared W1 over L squared over four. So simplify natin. Two, three, four is 12. 12 divide two, six minus Twelve divide three four times two eight. Twelve divide four three. Parang may ano? May namis yata ako. Sa loob ni Kamale. Okay, tama lang. No? Two, 6 minus 8 is minus is negative 2. Plus 3, positive 1. So therefore, W1 L squared over 12. Okay. So that's a fixed end moment. Okay, so I'll no longer continue. So we can leave that as, as correct. Okay, you can, ano, let's just ano, make this as, a, as additional assignment, <laughs> derivation. Okay, so that's it. So we were able to derive this fixed end moment. So therefore, even the, even the, in gantong loading, you can derive that, you know, using this, uh, Using this general formula. So remember, this should be WL squared over the fixed end moment here. WL squared over 20. Dito, WL squared over 30. Okay, so that will be an assignment. And even the vertical reaction, you can derive that. The catch here is you should come up with a general uh equation like this oops for the w okay because the shape function is already established it's already here okay. okay so that's it for the um, derivation of fixed end forces Next is uh, I like to show this example. So we will discuss this later. 
But if you will notice, I've been using this code from truss to beam to like here, plane stress to dimensional and even hanggang plate bending. No? So let's give time to, ano, to, to discuss this no? because uh, this is the, ano, eh, this is the, the, I believe, ano, after getting the stiffness matrix, uh, everything else will be automation. No? So this is just my simple way to automate the, ano, the, the, the generation of stiffness matrix. So explain here. Although I explained ko na siya last week, balikan lang natin sa glit. Now, for example, remember we have this example. So say this is member one, member two, member three. Open pala ako ng software. And sa software, automatic yan. No? It, it depends on which member do you model first. No? So imagine na ito yung una mong minodel and yan yung una mong clinic no? sa software. So we, let's say designate natin to as member a uh, node one, node two, node three, node four. So in establish mo muna yung node coordinates for the node one, two, node three, and node four. Then after mo may establish yung coordinates and ikiklik mo ngayon node one to node two to get a uh, member one. This is now a member one. Now, uh, de depending on how you idealize the system or structure, your degrees of freedom will follow. No, you de depending on how you uh, no, you you set the structure. So, for example, we set this as an actual member. That's why that's the first topic, and we know that the an actual member has two displacement per node. So, I have this. This becomes displacement one or degrees of freedom one and degrees of freedom two. Okay. Why is this one and two? Because uh, in your software, you designate that as node one. Therefore, you can automatically make a code that if this is node one, automatically this is degrees of freedom one and two. Now, if, it, if this is node two, automatically the degrees of freedom here is three and four. And succeedingly, uh, node three will be uh, five and six, and node four becomes seven and eight, okay? And we also, let's also explain that Say for stiffness of member one, that will be one, two, three, four. For stiffness of member two, that will be, okay, member two. So it will be node three to two. Now it depends again on how you click your structure. Your, uh, no, your, is it? from two to three or from three to two. See, so you can uh, no. you can realize that your coding here will depend on which node you uh, no, you click first in the software, okay? So if I click node three, so that will be five, six, three, four. Five, six, three, four. If I click on the software node four first to create beam three, that the code will be 
seven, eight, three, four. Now, if you click node two first, uh, we, well, we can show that the answer will not be, uh, no, will not change. No? As long as you are, no, it's consistent. Now, we know that in this system, the displacement is only at node two because you have full supports on one, three, and four. So we know, we know that your S is a two by two matrix, having a degrees of freedom three and four, okay? Because you are only allowed to, to displace at three and four because you have restrained on one, three, and four. Now, if you notice in my code, which I will give you, I'll give you this later, uh, I need to set a null matrix first, okay? This corresponds to, uh, no, to the, the size of this is corresponding to the size of your expected S. So ang gagawin ni S mat dyan is meron akong uh, S na puro zero. Tapos, uh, mangyayari is, remember, what we need is three and four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is four by four, right? So... I need to extract these values here. So same here, same here, the, the two by two here to came up with my, our S matrix. So that's the idea, right? So therefore, this code here, ko to. this code Okay, so if you notice, uh, this one, if for example, no, the, the length of BC is two, that means we're expecting about two by two matrix. No? If you're expecting two by two matrix, therefore my S4 here, my initial S4 is the null matrix. No, this one. Yan. No? So, ang gagawin niya is madadagdagan yung element nitong S nito. Yung KYY. Okay? That's the, ano. Then, magkakaroon ng new value yung aking S. From the null matrix, magiging ito siya. So, progressive mangyayari yan. Then, uh, i-iterate ni S mat yan. Then, this one, Okay, um, the element, so so that's why nag-establish ako ng ano, ng for 2 by 2, for 2 by 2, nag-establish ako ng apat na element. No? Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so ibig sabihin, yung bawat data na to will be superseded. No? Depending on this values, itong apat na to. Right? So that's the idea, no? So for example, uh, my DOF number is three and four, no? And uh, so, ibig sabihin, uh, my S, say one one, will be equal to K, what is my Y? Uh, that will be uh, 
For example, for this one, S11 here. Where do I get this? So my S is has a one and two, supposedly, right? So I will have as S11, S12, S21, and I will have S22. Okay. So they will be replaced by S11 will be replaced by K. So if I if I got from element one for member one. So magkakaroon ng correspondence si 1 and 2 at saka si 3 and 4. Yeah, that means that's why this code here Yeah, because my correspondence, no? That means my 1 in S will be 3 in my K. Okay? Then my 2 in S will be 4 in my K. So basically, that's yun yung nangyayari. Okay? So that's why this S11 will be 3, 3. Right? K3, 3, 3. Then S12 here, mare replace ni K3, 4. Then si S21, may mare replace ni K43. Then S22 will be K44. And succeedingly ginagawa niya yan for member 2, for member 3. Because nag-iterate tayo from member 1 to member, well, in this case, ilulok mo siya from member 1 to hanggang member 3. That's why uh, yung looping nito will depend sa number of elements. Okay? So, that's it. Basically, yun lang yung pinaka idea ng code na yun. And uh, that will, ano, will be applied hanggang sa 3D. You can, you can do the same hanggang 3D. Okay? Looping lang. Okay? Pinakita ko lang na may correspondence yung 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 destination na uh, 1 2 from the address ng bawat member from 3 4 okay so this is the ano. for example let's uh, do another ano another kasi ano eh bias lahat 3 4 ano? for example let's say this uh system. Yeah. So assign ko to as mem uh, node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4. Then meron kang uh, say this is roller, then this is pin and another pin here. So may displacement ka sa node 1 and node 2. So if this is node 1, that will be 1, 2, this will be 3, 4, this will be 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So, gawin ulit natin yung mga K per member. So, K1 will be, so assign ko to as uh, member 1, member 2, member 3, member 4, member 5. So, I have 5 members. So, K1 is set natin as K1 
K1 is say 7812, right? Ito yung member 1, no? So, nag-start ako from 4 to 1. For K2, uh, 1 to 2. So, that will be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? For member 3, uh, say, start ako sa node 3. 5, 6, 3, 4, no? 5, 6, 3, 4. 5, 6, 3, 4. And K4, itong diagonal. 5, 6, 1, 2. For example, 5, 6, 1, 2. So consistent yan. Even yung theta nyo, no? Even yung... And K last, K5, diagonal ulit, 7, 8, 3, 4. Seven eight three four. Now let's now set yung S matrix. S is equal to uh, basically how many degrees of freedom or displacement in this system? Three. You have two displacements on node one. Wala ka kasi support don. And you have a vertical displacement sa node two. Kasi roller lang siya. Okay, roller lang siya. So three by three. So which corresponds to 1, 2, 4, right? 1, 2, up, 4, yung up and down. Kasi naka-restrain ka sa 3. Okay? So code is 1, 2, 4. Okay? So therefore, in each case, Stiffness matrix, so we will need this, one, all 1, 2, and 4, this one, this one, uh, to, 4 lang to, to, 1 and 2, this one here, ito, 4 lang, okay? Okay, so therefore, magkakaroon naman ng correspondence ngayon sa... Uh, that means may correspondence sa uh, 1, uh, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 4. Parang ganyan. No? But also if you check sa code, I need to establish yung BU and BB matrix. No? This one. 2, 5, 3, 5, 6. Okay, so my BU matrix here, there is so BU hindi ko lang napalitan. So this is the address and this is the destination and it corresponds to the number of elements. So how many elements tayo? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Tapos, uh, ano siya? Um, uh, matrix pa rin siya. No? Bali sub, sub matrix to. So, for member 1, ano ang BU ko? The, the address. So, ang kukunin ko sa member 1 is the 3 and 4 element. So, that will be 3, 4. And for member 2, uh, the address is 1, 2, and 4, right? So this will be 1, 2, 4. For member 3, the fourth element, okay? That will be the fourth. For member 4, the third and fourth. Third and fourth. And last, for member 5, the fourth element. So, yung pagdating dito, ano pa yan, no? uh, hindi pa automated. But, of course, ideally, in, in the software, this is automated. So, hindi ko lang siya in-automate just to, para, ano, as, a, as a lecture, may idea kayo na ano yung dapat i-extract from each 
element from each member. Uh, what are the important address? So it so so that maging conscious kayo na ito yung mga uh, element that I need to extract from the uh, each member. Now for the BB, yan naman yung destination. Um, kaya naging double letter kasi naubusan na ako ng, ano yun, ng letter during nung kinupold ko to. No? Kaya nag ano na ako, double letters. For the BB matrix, so ano naman yung magiging address nitong this, this one here sa ating S matrix. Ayan, okay? So this one will be, since 1 to siya, and this is 1 and 2 and 4, Mapupunta siya sa first and second. Okay. Magiging address niya is 1 and 2. Ayan. Sorry, ito pala yung magiging correspondence. No? So, ito, siniset ko na may correspondence si 3, 4, and 1 and 2. Yung, yun yung ano na, no? yung code kanina. Next, so 1, 2, 4. This one. Number 2. Mali ng ano. Mali yung ano yun. Yan, this one. 1, 2, 4. Ano yung magiging destination niya sa S matrix? First, second, and third. Kasi 3 by 3 lang naman tayo. So that will be first, second, and third. Okay? Next, for member 3, ano yung destination itong extract natin for? Pang 3. Pangatlo siya. So this will be 3. Yeah. So for member 4, on the destination niya, ang code niya is 1 and 2. 1 and 2. So first and second. Finally, for member 5, 4 lang yung, yung uh, kukunin natin. So at number 3. That's it. So yan yung i-input nyo sa code. Okay. So uh, well in uh, pagdating sa assignment no you can use excel naman no pero uh, I cannot help you with that <laughs> kay nang bahala mag-code na no? Okay so, I'll, I'll try no na no meron naman na akong lecture video sa I believe sa Trust and ano Beam nag-excel ako no? nag-excel kami Pero sa ano kasi sa plate sa two dimensional like yung mamaya i-solve natin Naka-SMAT lang ako dyan. Okay? And as you will notice, yun din, gumamit ako ng BU and BB matrix. No? Okay? And then the same code to generate the S matrix, to automate. But since two, two element lang to, you can ano, manually do ano, your S matrix. Konti pa lang naman. No? 